Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Filipina Des here. Well, this is gonna be just a really short video. Yes, I promise to you that because in this video, I'm just gonna give you a quick list of the things that could offend, insult, hurt, and annoy foreign men. This is about Filipinas and well actually this is about Filipino habits in general. So I found out that I miss some of these habits and uh, thank you guys for the comments as well because you helped me remember these things. I actually have covered this before but let's just have the summary. First one is Filipino time. Okay, so if you don't know these uh, things yet or this Filipino time, just search it in Google. Filipino time is actually like DST, delay, delayed standard time for Filipinos. So we have our own standard time, right? So uh, for example, this is uh, being invited to a wedding or a meeting or a birthday party. We tend to be like late we tend to be uh not punctual yeah we are we are late many times and the party for us starts an hour after the actual schedule so when you say filipino time it is yeah filipinos have their own time and we start whenever we want not uh, the actual schedule of the uh, birthday uh, host or the birthday celebrant, for example. So second is when a Filipina, for example, you're, you are going to meet your Filipina for the first time. And this is when she brings a friend with her. Well, for Filipinos, this is very common. But maybe in the West or for a foreign man like you, it is a sign of disrespectful. Uh, dis yeah, disrespect because why would... The Filipina that I am going to date brings a friend with her. Unless she's going to introduce the friend, right? But actually, guys, it is not. This is more on about yeah, bringing a chaperone because she doesn't trust you and she's scared. And this is probably her first time to meet a foreign guy. So she um, she just wants to, be, uh, to, to feel secure. And yeah, probably she's still... She's, she's scared. To date foreign men yeah, we cannot blame her right but yeah please comment about this so the third one is uh yeah well i have mentioned this earlier family members invite other people in the parties or some of your relatives that you invited bring strangers to your celebrations for example, you have a family reunion and your cousins, your aunts bring their co-workers or their uh, nephew of the cousin. <laughs> you know, it's really far, right? And for them, this is normal because they are still your relatives, but that is just far, you know, uh, a cousin in another aunt like that. Uh, but actually, this is uh, being disrespectful to the celebrant. And it can cause problems later. It happened to me before, guys. We had this family reunion. And my uh, some of my relatives brought uh, unknown people, <laughs> strangers. And my mom asked me, who are these people? And I told her, I don't know who brought them at the first place, right? So I think the best way to avoid problems when it comes to stolen things is to tell your relatives that they should not now set boundaries they should not bring people that you don't know also uh, so that you will not run out of food quickly the next one that could show disrespect or offend you is cutting lines uh, Filipinos are very good at this a lot of us are so expert when it comes to paying at the counter this is not common in supermarkets because you have this organized cashiers, right, or queue. But here in the Philippines, especially in small grocery stores, they will just cut you. If you will not call it out or if you will not tell them that, no, uh, I got it first, well, they're definitely going to cut you. Well, there's an exception for this rule. 
uh, we let the seniors, we let the elders go first if there's senior there. But normally we just let it go, like we just let these people cut the line because they have uh, very few grocery items, like one or two items, and I have like 10, right? <laughs> so many times as well, it's the cashier's fault. They let those people come first before you. Another one is your relatives come to your house without any notice, without even texting first, without uh, calling you first. And this is going to be very common if they know where you live. <laughs> so if you have a Filipino with you, better not give your full address to your relatives. They don't have to know it. Well, yeah, your parents, her parents need to know where she lives, right? If you guys live separately. But I'm telling you guys, very common to a lot of even siblings. They just come to the house. Uh, they will just maybe knock at the middle of the night or too early in the morning because maybe they need some help or they ran out of rice and or maybe they just need some place where to sleep. No. And the last one for now, because it's kind of raining in here in the bedroom. The last one is, I think this is more on uh, setting boundaries, guys. This actually can dis disrespect you and your Filipina when it comes to privacy. Is if your Filipina agrees that your relatives or her siblings live in the house. Okay, so this is very common, and if this happens to you well you gotta talk with your filipina about that brother who have stayed for a week now without doing any laundry or washing the dishes and she's he is just there eating your foods in the fridge well you gotta tell your filipina that this is not gonna happen again if you are the one who put food on the table she better respect it not because you know just because she has a, a brother who is jobless right now. Well, the brother doesn't contribute anything, right? When it comes to paying the bills. So, also many times this happens when her parents ask favor if they can stay with you. Uh, if an aunt or an uncle can stay in the house because they need uh, some place to sleep. You know, they got evicted. Or there's some electricity in their house like that and but uh, again there is no other person to be blamed at at the end it's only you or your Filipina because you guys let it happen but that's all for now and um, I guess there's just a lot of negative habits as well Filipinos have a lot of positive characteristics you know uh, but we have to be realistic when we have relationships with Filipinos connections we have to be realistic uh, to learn uh, that we also can face people who are boundary stompers who will abuse us emotionally physically and you know financially there's gonna be uh, uh, parents or Filipino in-laws who are power trippers, guilt trippers, and they can abuse your Filipina like that. So that's all for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching this and see you next time. Bye.